hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm back with another video and on today's video i am going to be doing my hair and for my hair today i'm going to be installing a wig i have this bob here that i made i think like four years ago so yeah i just cut it this morning so i did cut it with um some clippers and just make it straight so this is how it looks and it's like a frontal i also bleached the knots and i've already braided my hair i did like some african threading um i tried to grab like as much as possible so yeah that's what we are doing today and i did gel down my edges because i'm going to be using some ghost bond and it's actually the first time me trying the ghost bond so i'm a little bit nervous but i think i can pull it off so I'm just going to put on the wig and see, kind of like see where uh, the hairline is going to stop. And I've already cut out um, the excess legs around my ears so I can fit everything in place so first thing first i'm taking some rubbing alcohol and a cotton ball and i'm going to clean the perimeter where i'm going to put the glue so that it's like clean so the glue can like stick and last longer so i'm planning to wear this wig for a few days hopefully like i will get like a wig or something so this is the ghost bond glue that i'm going to be using and i got mine from glamour hair in wendy wood so i'm going to apply this with a little popsicle stick so i am going to start with one section and then i will do one section let it dry while i do the other section instead of like just doing the whole thing at once so i'm gonna start in the front here and i'm just doing like dots that's probably like not enough and i'm going to do like three layers and i'm just taking my popsicle stick and spread it and then while that is clearing i'm going to apply the next side so i thought i would need to use like my blow dryer or something like that but it's actually drying up quickly or maybe it's because i didn't put a lot on the first go So I'm going to use my blow dryer on a cool setting just to speed up the process. So now I feel like the last layer is dry enough except for 
like the edge is still white i don't want to miss the window so i'm just gonna go ahead and apply one section i'm just gonna pull pull down the lace like so and then take my little comb And then I'm gonna do the same on the other side. So now I'm going to take like an eyebrow razor to cut the lace because instead of just going straight with scissors, I'm going to use this to cut off the lace. So I'm just taking a little bit of my foundation to try and conceal that lace. And this is the foundation that I use on my face. So just to cover a little bit of that excess lace, which I think it's working. I just don't want to add a lot. So next I'm going to cut some baby hair and I just want a little bit, I want a lot of baby hair, just a little bit. So I'm taking my mousse, which is this Design Essential Composition Forming Lotion. And to cut my baby hair, I'm going to use my eyebrow razor again.
then I'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup and then I will come back and show you guys the final result. So this is the final hair look. I am really, really happy with the results. I was actually scared to use the gloss bond for the first time, but it actually turned out great. My wig feels amazing. It feels like my hair. I am really, really loving how this bob also turned out. Overall, I love how everything is. I'm just looking forward to seeing how long it will last on my before it starts lifting. And yeah, so this is how it's looking i love the fact that i can actually like tie it back so yeah i feel like i did great for my first time trying the ghost bond it actually turned out great i love 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 how my hair looks and um yeah from someone who hasn't been wearing wigs for like almost two years now this looks amazing like i really really love how it turned out so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next one bye